Hello there, I'm Ludwig and on this little live on SQL Bootcamp Online channel I want to address the extremely important question which is... That's not the important question right now, this is my wife calling. <laughs> so, but again, this is the beauty of uh, of running the... This is the beauty of running the Facebook lives, right? So again, the index scan versus index seek. This is the question that I wanted to address in uh, today's episode. So. Normally, or can you see what I'm addressing? Hold on a sec. Yes, you can. So uh, normally uh, in th this stage of our, our life, I would just tell you, hey, just subscribe to this YouTube channel because I have another video for that, uh, either upcoming or already recorded. But the live demo or of uh, how to find whether your uh, query is seeking through the indexes or scanning the indexes is live right this very moment when as we speak because i just recorded it i just went live to show you that using the live demo so what i want to show you right now what i want to present right now is the practical example based on a book any book for that matter so whenever you are Whenever you're running a query you and you want to include the actual execution plan. So the execution plan is the uh, answer of what SQL Server is doing, what a SQL Server, um, how SQL Server resolves your query and how it gets your results, right? And whenever you're doing that and you are uh, including the actual execution plan with your query or maybe you want to display the estimated execution plan you either see something like this that the clustered index is being scanned or you see something like this when the clustered index is being seeked through all right so what's the difference between those two again the answer is here a book if you pick up any book in this case it's michael hyatt's free to focus a very good book on how to become more productive and effective uh, in life if i've asked you hey here's a book think about it as your table and i need you to find the information about another author of another very good book stephen Covey. Now, Stephen Covey wrote a book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. As you know, as you may know, I'm a bookworm and I read quite a lot. So, again, referring to authors. And if this book in here and the pages of data in SQL Server, those pages are eight kilobytes large. If this is the only thing that I gave you, what you would have to do in order to give me the information about where the Steve Covey is mentioned in this book, what you would have to do is you would have to go through every single page. You would have to scan every single page in order to find the one where Stephen Covey's name is mentioned. Unless you have an index at the end of that book and if you do indeed have an index that um what you can do is you can just refer to that index and once you find the proper page with the letter s so stephen Covey, according to this uh, index is mentioned on the page number 191 where is he Covey, stephen here we go Dum, 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 dum. As you can see, looking through the index can also take some time. Boom. Kavei Steven, the page number 191. And what I am going to do is I'm going to open this book on 191 page and then I can read. All right. So uh, the one helpful filter in the time tested Eisenhower priority matrix popularized by Stephen Kavi. It's a simple grid divided into four quadrants, blah, 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 the rest of it. So this example is the difference between index scan and the index seek. But the reason why or the, the fact that I made a mistake and I started looking by not by the um, their first name or their last name and the first name, so Kavi Steven, and I was looking at the letter S for Steven Kavi. This is also a perfect example why those indexes are not interchangeable, right? You can just choose create one index and then hope that it will be used for other queries, okay? The AB index, so the first name, last name, is a different story than BA. So the for last name, 
first name. And all of those subjects are extremely crucial when it comes to learning how SQL Server indexing works. And that's exactly why I'm strongly encouraging you to subscribe to this channel because on the rest of the videos in here, you will have the exact explanation why and how you should maintain and manage your indexes. So as usual in any regular episode, here's the next video, here's the subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode of SQL Bootcamp Online. <laughs>